Hi uh, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be changing the oil on this Ford Fiesta. So I'm going to show you how you do that. Um, let's turn the camera around and I'll show you where to start. Okay, so here we are in front of the Ford Fiesta. Um, if you're following the series, this is my brother's first car. Um, so we're just getting it ready. So when he does pass his test, the car is ready to go. Um, if you're interested in the story and how I ended up owning it, uh, just check back a couple of videos and uh, here's a little story to the car. Anyway, the first thing you wanna do to change the oil and filter is uh, jack up the car and put an axle stand underneath one of the sills. So I've done that already. Now we go underneath the car here and then when we look up here, we have the oil pan. Now in front of the oil pan, we have the um, oil filter. So we're gonna remove that by unscrewing it. But before we do that, we need to drain the oil. Okay, so I've already broken this bolt, so it's nice and loose. So I'm gonna just undo it by hand. I don't know when this was last serviced, this car, because I never serviced it. To be honest, I only planned to keep it for a couple of months, but it sort of turned into a year or two then, or just over a year, maybe, something along those lines. And then, obviously, now my brother's having it, so we're getting it in tip-top shape for him. So we're just gonna quickly, and there she goes. So there we are, all that oil. Now, I did heat it up before we started draining it, because I just find it drains faster firstly and I like to think it keeps less of the, the old rubbish oil in there then. So we'll let all of that drain out. Okay, so now the oil's finished draining, we're gonna torque up the sump plug, which I've just reinstalled. Uh, the torque spec is 28 newton meters. Okay, so the last thing to do is remove this oil filter. So I've just re released the tension on it by literally grabbing it with two hands and, ma and manhandling it. Um, so yeah, all we gotta do is just back that off. So we basically unscrew this and then we're gonna screw on its replacement in a minute. So we've got the old oil filter there and the new one is here. So I've given it a quick clean with brake cleaner just to Get all the crud off the surfaces. If this was a exotic car, I'd probably pre-fill the oil filter, but most people don't bother. I'll just crank it for a few seconds before I um, let it start. Right, so we're gonna just clean all this up now, and then. All we've got to do is take it off axle stands and put the oil back in. Okay, so we've taken the car off the axle stand now so that it's nice and level again. Um, I've got a nice clean oil funnel there, which I've just cleaned out with brake cleaner because we don't want any debris going back in the engine. And then here I've got the oil that is to go in the car. So I'm going to put about three and a half litres of oil in and then I'm going to check the quantity on the dipstick and then I'll just work from there then. Look how clean that oil is, it's gold. Okay. So hopefully you found that video useful. Uh, we've got a couple more jobs to do on this car before it's ready for my brother to uh, take it on the road. I'm going to do a window regulator change. I've got to fix a fault with the dashboard blower not working. And then um, we're going to do auxiliary belt and maybe timing belt. Depends how we feel. It's a big job, a timing belt. But uh, it's probably time that it gets done. 
But anyway, that's for another video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.